okay this is the second part of the flow graph all right so uh, I will go straight into the flow graph here it is okay so you already know all this all right uh, the general flow okay what do you want okay the standard source so I won't go through all this anymore all right now this is the flow graph that we left behind okay so it's not going to be easy to understand everything but uh, first of all okay everything get squashed up okay. so the easiest way is to maximize it all right now once you maximize it the first thing you will do is uh, remember you can actually move this all right you can actually move this so that you can see more of the uh, addresses on the top all right and of course then you can actually scroll to the left or to the right your time all right is here based by relativity okay to scroll down you use this one over here to scroll down all right uh, easy way is actually to select when you select this let's say i just select this okay uh, this is a, a bit this is a cid okay maybe i select the transmission all right so when you select this you you actually makes reading the flow graph easier because first you have the time so you can actually shift this one down and you can see oh this one is actually at this time all right and it's related to your tls v 1.2 right? and it's a retransmission of the uh, application data right so where is it from to where is it from okay let me just scroll this a little bit oh okay it is from here all right which is from this ip address okay all the way to this guy over here this line which is this ip address okay so that is basically how you make reading of the flow graph uh, easier okay so i hope that uh, with just this little bit of extra skill uh, you are able to dissect the flow graph and uh, you have an easier life.